Greetings, and welcome to the RPG Engine. Today we're going to talk about prefabs, how to build them, best practices. Prefabbing is essentially collecting several disparate pieces into one coherent whole that you can then drag around and move and resize like it's a single piece. To start with a prefab, you generally want to find something that seems like it would be a good centerpiece for the entire prefab itself. In this case, I'm going to use this as the main body of a spaceship. The easiest way to do a prefab is generally to hold down shift and then just click on something and drag it holding the left click button down and you can see when you hover over something that it changes color. That tells you that the piece that you're hovering over is going to become the parent of the piece that you're dragging along. So then you simply release the button and now when you hold shift down and you hover over these pieces you can tell that they are joined because they change colors. Any piece that you hover over with the shift held down will turn blue. That just tells you that's the piece that you're focusing on. Any sh piece that is red is the parent of your blue piece. Any piece that is green is going to be a child of your blue piece. In this fashion you can figure out what part of your prefab is controlling or being controlled by other pieces. Now that this is a parent and this is a child, technically this is a prefab. It's just a very simple prefab. And now that they're attached, you can move the parent and anything you do with the parent, either sliding them around, rotating them, or even resizing, same thing happens to its child. Now you can manipulate the child and it will not affect the parent. Probably the next easiest way to parent is to click on the parent itself, hold down control shift at the same time, and then click on the item you want as the child. And you'll notice as soon as I click on it, that parent lights up red just like before. And then those are joined. Position the child wherever you'd like. And again, now they move around as one solid piece. Yet another way to parent items is to, when you click on it, go to the parenting section and its settings. And here you can set the parent or the child of the object that you have selected. So since this is supposed to be the main piece, I can tell it to set child and then click on this. It works exactly the same as holding down control and shift and clicking. Just a little bit more involved, but you know, if you don't want to mess with the keyboard, that is one way to do it. If you decide you don't want something parented, or if you want to release everything from a parent, you can either remove a parent from a child. So select this one. You know it's a child. You tell it remove its parent, and now it is no longer attached. Or you can click on the main parent, and you can tell it to remove all the children, and that will basically release everything under its control. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can actually make prefabs with multiple parents in the hierarchy. So if I wanted to turn this into a wing with an engine attached to it, I could simply bring this there, click on either the engine or the wing. We'll go with the engine because it's an even increment. I'll explain this later. Hold Control Shift and click on that to parent them together. Now that is a prefab in and of itself, but now I can bring it over, over, over that, click on my main parent, hold down control shift, and then click on this parent. Now they are all together as well. It's just multiple stages of parents and children. So now when I move this one, this one comes with it. You can still manipulate this as you need, and it still acts as a parent on its own. So anything you do to this parent will affect its child, and then anything that you do to the parent over all of it will affect the children underneath it. Let's say we had this attached here. I'll hold shift, release it. The very simple way to detach this from the parent is to simply 
hold right left click and just drag it off and it immediately unparents them because of this what you'll want to do when you have something parented you want to manipulate this instead of trying to just drag it around click and drag it like you would a lot of things in in the world you definitely want to click on the item once and use the handles to manipulate it Whoops. you'll want to click on just this item and then use the handles to manipulate it because using the handles will not deparent it there are a couple tips for building that can be handy here one is that if you are trying to build things to be symmetrical and attach parts that are supposed to be the same on either side uh, perhaps mirrored one easy way to get done is to try to have a very static position for your parent in this case we're going to zero out all the rotation and then you still you also want to do the same for its position. You want it to be at a very even increment at least on the X and Z axis. So we'll put it at minus 40 and 7. Because what I want to do is I want to have this wing and this engine also on this side but reflected. So the first thing I want to do is be very happy about where I have this engine and this wing and its position and its rotation and all of that. So I'm going to take this engine and I am going to invert it by clicking the Y. This mirrors basically anything you're looking at. And then position it where I'd like it. Now I can place one of these invisible locators here and basically what I want to do is I want to match it to at least the X because if this is at minus 40 as well on the X and then I have it at a nice even increment on this side then it's very easy to match this up later I take this hold down control shift and I select the engine to make it a parent and a child under here and I click on this You'll notice when I do that since this becomes the parent it removes it from this hierarchy so now it belongs to this little invisible locator now that I have those parented to this one I can hit control C copy it hit control V paste it I have an exact copy. Now I can mirror it on the x-axis and then position it at minus 40 and 0. And that will perfectly overlap those two and give you a mirror image. Now you just have to click that original parent again and go back in and reparent those pieces since they are part of those. As soon as you do that, there you go. They are gathered together. These invisible locators can also be handy for other purposes. And one of the purposes for these invisible locators is to help with uh, parenting when you're going to have a lot of distortion on something that would normally be apparent. So if I rotated and stretched this critter and it's rotated and canted and stretched, when that becomes apparent, it can end up distorting the child because children always take aspects of the parent, including the how they are deformed and which direction they are stretched. So instead of doing this and having a very warped looking child, what you can do is place them wherever you want them bring in an invisible locator and you can make it quite small and then you make your invisible locator since it's a nice even size and that's the important thing an even scale and you can make them that the parent of them instead so now they are still part of a parent hierarchy 
that there is no distortion based off this being the parent. These locators can also be handy for making sure your manipulation point is where you want it to be for something. For instance, this landing gear here has a manipulation point at the top. It makes it kind of easy to attach it to things on the underside, but if you're trying to drag it around as the wheels being the base, that's not really going to work with it as it is. So instead, if I wanted that to have a control point that's more on the ground, then that's where the invisible locator comes in. Use the invisible locator, make that the parent, and now you drag it around and it's closer to being where you want it to be. Something else to bear in mind for this parent-child hierarchy is that when you parent something, the children now have a 0, 0, 0 point for their position based on the parent, not based on the world. So you'll notice the parent has a very large negative number, a very high Y. The child is actually quite close to 0, 0, 0. It's because it's no longer paying attention to the world position, it's paying attention to the parent position. This can make it pretty easy to align certain things. For instance, you can tell that this position is off by a hair, so we can just hit 0 and 0 that out and that will align it horizontally. Now you can distort it however you want and it'll still be aligned, making it easier to make something symmetrical. So we'll widen that out a little bit, make it a fat boy. Yes ma'am, can I help you? No? Alrighty then. And we can do the same thing with this fin, making sure to use the drag handles. So this also will work with animations. So if you want to animate something, you can bring in your animation node, make sure it's labeled appropriately. I want three of these attached to this animation. So I'm going to do the mirror trick, bring in an invisible node, attach that one to it. Make sure it's at a memorable position, copy and paste it, flip it and position it to the same location at zero, 00 and minus 40. There we go. Bring in the animation node to where we need it. I usually try to position them quite close to one of the pieces that's being animated. just makes it easier. Parent those in. One more copy. Get it positioned where I want it. That one's going to need to be bigger. Perhaps not that big. That should be pretty good. Select the animation node. Make sure it is in control of all of the wheels it is and it has the parent as the main ship which is excellent. Then we set a start position. Starts out the duration of one second and that's probably pretty good. Set an end. And then Check that animation. It seems to work. It's perhaps a little fast. That's a little better. So now they are all part of the same unit. Animations are attached. Animations are functional. Now when you click on the ship, you can have plenty of gear pop in and out. And if you're worried about accidentally clicking and dragging something out of the hierarchy, it is a very easy thing to fix. You simply right click on the primary piece and you tell it to lock all of the children. Once all of the children are locked, no matter what you click on, it defaults to the main parent. So now you can't accidentally click on the engine and drag it off you instead get the parent itself. 
Now that you've constructed a prefab, you may want to share it on the workshop. It's a very easy thing to do as well. You click on the parent. If you want to give it a name so when people are clicking on it in game it makes sense, then here's where you would change that as well. And then up here you'll notice a little save icon. Clicking on the save icon will bring up this template. It allows you to take a shot and it's quite dim. We will turn on, not you, GM override. That should brighten things up. There we are. So position, then you give your ship a name. Starhip is probably not something you want to name it. You give it some tags for easy finding. And then if you want to give it a description, once you have a name, some tags, and then a description, you can decide how you want it saved. We prefer that you know everybody can see it, in which case you would leave this as public. However, if it's something that you want to use in the game and then show it to the public after that, you can set it to private so only you can see it on the workshop or you can set it to friends only, so only you and people who are your friend on Steam can see it. You also have the option to just save it to your local machine, and that's local template. Then it's not saved on the workshop at all, it's saved on your computer. However, we want this one shared for everyone, so we leave this for public, and we say to workshop. You click on that, and it uploads, and there you have it. Saved to the workshop, available for everyone, so there you go. Albatross Starship, saved to the workshop. Happy building.